Hey everyone, I wanted to do a quick demo of how to evaluate Sitespeed.io without having to install the packages globally or keep them up to date. Um, so let's jump over into the terminal. And with the latest version of NPM, uh, there is a package included called NPX. And what NPX allows you to do is issue CLI tool package commands without having to install them globally or keep them up to date. So we'll issue the npx command and then the package name, which is sitespeed.io. Sitespeed uh, comes with a bunch of default parameters out of the box, but the only parameter that is required is a URL or file with a list of URLs. So we're gonna go ahead and test out sitespeed.io. And what that's gonna do is that's gonna go out and fetch that site speed package install all of its dependencies um, and then issue the site speed command after it has the packages downloaded and installed so one thing to note is that these packages are downloaded and installed every time when running through npx so if you do want to set up a continuous uh, monitoring continuous testing environment, it is recommended to use our Docker image or uh, installing the packages using standard NPM commands. So once it's finished downloading and installing the base uh, node packages, it's also gonna install a couple of binaries. Uh, one is the Chrome driver for Selenium for uh, interfacing with the Chrome browser and the other one is the Gecko driver for interfacing with Firefox. Once it's finished downloading and installing those it will uh, execute the runs. Uh, by default SiteSpeed has uh, a setting set for three runs so you'll see that the browser is opened three times. The default browser is Chrome. Once it's finished those three runs uh, it will output a small summary of the runs and then also it will generate an html report of the three runs that you can find in this location so we can jump in to that directory and open up that file here we can see all the metrics that were collected across those three runs and that's it. So thanks for watching.